chucker, eh? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Sharp Hand Path. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan, and today we have another anime unboxing to do. This one is one of the reasons why I'm probably so obsessed with green, and one of the reasons why I probably want to start martial arts to begin with in the first place. And what I'm talking about, if you saw the title correctly, we got a package in the long awaited box set release of this entire 2003 series. Can't wait to check it out with you and go into all the details. So I already got it ripped open here so we can just dive right in. Let's check it out. Oh, well, there's the back. Got a little bit of a preview. And here it is. The TMNT 2003 complete series from Nickelodeon and the Turtles Forever movie, but we'll talk about that a little later. There's the spine here. Apologies for the glare, the ring light is not helping. And then a closer look up at the back with the Ninja Turtles there, and you probably won't be able to, probably won't be able to see it, but if you could pause it there and read it, that's it there. The description of the series. Pretty excited to get this. This complete series is probably the best we're gonna get. I see a lot of people asking, oh cool, DVD. Now how about this Centuries format, Blu-ray? But we're probably not gonna get a Blu-ray. This would have been great back in 2010 or 2011, but unfortunately, I think there is some rights issues or whatever for the entire release. This is, again, probably the best we're gonna get out of the series. It's a nice thick box set though. There's a few other unboxings out there on YouTube, but I wanna go through this on mine, so let's crack it open. So when you open it up, it's pretty unassuming. There's nothing on the back here, just a plain white sleeve. And these, if you're not too careful, will fall out because it's not attached to the back. So it kinda comes on this big spindle here. Again, nothing on the inside. So yeah, it comes on this multiple page thing here very delicate it could be easily smashed in the mail and i will show you a picture right here of how they decided to give it to me my, my mailbox is like five feet away and they decided to throw it on the ground here below the steps where it could easily be stepped on or or stolen not impressed with how they delivered it and not in a box either in this little flimsy bubble wrap that could easily take damage to the case and everything amazon or whoever is dealing these out you, you need to get your shit together and and fix this because there's been a lot of reviews where the discs have just straight up fallen out and scratched and this over time will probably wear and these little pieces will come off that's that's another thing that's not the greatest about this i mean don't get me wrong i'm pretty stoked to have this entire series on dvd but the, the DVDs themselves, all gray with the white logos and font, boring as hell. And then just saying episodes one to nine, doesn't have the names of them on here or anything like that. Doesn't have individual CD art. And then they crammed the Turtles Forever on the, I can't see that, but on the last disc there with episodes 154 to 156 so the compression rate is a little eh i'm hearing if you want the the better release of turtles forever you should probably go and buy the the separate dvd for that i mean i guess they tried right i will try to get a little bit of quick video quality footage up in here maybe right here All right, so the first disc is in. That is the title screen you get with the names of the episodes there. Things change, A Better Mousetrap, Attack of the Mousers, Meet Casey Jones, Nano, Darkness on the Edge of Town, The Way of Invisibility, Fallen Angel, and Garbage Man. Let's click play and see how it goes. You're watching Nickelodeon. My name is Leonardo, and right now my brothers and I are in a mess of trouble. 
our backs or up against the wall in some trash strewn alley. So not so bad. On the east side. Fairly clear oh, video. And it's full screen like they mentioned on the box. He's wrong. We're not wearing costumes. And then you got the intro sequence. I'm not going to be able to get this whole thing because I'll be copyright stricken, but as you can see, it's pretty good. Actually, after watching this a little bit in, I have noticed that the compression does affect it a little. There are a little bit of parts on the turtles that kind of go blurry when they're moving and sometimes when they're not moving and just kind of standing still, there's still parts that kind of aren't as crisp and in depth as you'd like. So that's a little unfortunate, but if we were being honest with ourselves, we're just watching this for nostalgia's sake anyways. So yeah, I, I'm not going to complain too much, but I did want to also point that out that there is some blurriness going on with some of the scenes every now and then. So you will notice that if you get it. It's not perfect. It's not 100% crisp and clear, but it, it's pretty good considering what we've gotten in the past. So yeah, if I decided to put the video quality footage in there, that's it. It's honestly not too bad, but again, it's not Blu-ray quality. And it's probably going to be like from here to here on your on your widescreen. It's not going to take up the entire widescreen because I'm pretty sure it wasn't widescreen back then. Yeah, it says full screen. The TV movie is presented in widescreen though, apparently. But again, you'd probably be better off just getting the, the movie separate. I also believe this has all seven seasons plus the, the lost episodes or whatever. The only thing that th this doesn't have is the episode that never actually got made. So if you see here, it'll say 109 and then 111. So obviously that means 110 is missing, but that's because it never actually got aired or animated fully. And they decided to skip it for whatever reason because the story was too brutal or something. Something about Baxter Stockman getting his arms and legs and everything ripped off and regrowing them and, and, and something like that. I don't know. I never was able to actually watch the full series back in the day. I think I was able to catch maximum maybe 25 different episodes here and there sporadically. But what I did watch, I really enjoyed, which is why I had to get this. Now, I'm in Ontario, Canada. So if you're looking on Amazon.ca, you're, you're not going to find it there. Unfortunately, you're going to have to make a, another account for Amazon.com and order the box set from there. Luckily, I can tell you there was no duties or border fees that I had to unexpectedly get an email saying, oh, before we can allow this over the border, you're going to have to pay these fees. Unlike my Naruto box set, which, wow, the fees on that sucked. But so luckily there's none of that with this. I feel like Amazon took care of that or they worked some of those border fees into the cost of shipping the 2003 Ninja Turtles to Canada. So at least that's one thing you don't have to worry about is duty fees. At least I didn't have to. Try to think if there's anything else to say about this besides all the kind of the red flags that I kind of talked about before and, and the, the poor delivery of just throwing it at the bottom of my steps instead of in my mailbox, which is literally five feet away. Other than that, Again, hopefully I was able to include some, like a couple of seconds of footage from maybe one or two of the episodes. I'm looking forward to watching this with my kids and getting them reacquainted with my favorite series of the TMNT. Of course, I do have the original 1985 series. I've got all the volumes of that and seasons of that. And I'm missing maybe three volumes of the 2012 TMNT series, so the Bebop and Rocksteady one, the Super Shredder one, and then the final chapters, I think. So the three white DVDs. Yeah, so I got all those. So now I'm happy to have the entire series on this. I know back in the day, trying to find all of the volumes, it was pretty much impossible. And if you look for them now, they're going to be super duper expensive. So I think it was about time that Nickelodeon and Paramount decided to release this in this minimum box set. But 
Again, this is probably the best we're going to get. I know all you Blu-ray aficionados are, are like, oh, where's my Blu-ray? But I, I, I wouldn't hold your breath. I'll be very, very shocked, to be honest. From the masters and from the other videos of people talking about this I've heard, I don't feel like the quality is going to be too much better anyways except maybe some of the compression. It seems like they stuck about eight to nine episodes on a DVD. Maybe there's more room on a Blu-ray to do that. So if there is a quality increase, it might be very, very slight. But honestly, I'm fine with this. I'm probably never gonna get the Blu-ray one if they ever do come out with a Blu-ray one. My point of view with Blu-ray is anything from the 90s and up, you could probably get a DVD of it and have a decent quality. When you start getting into 80s and 70s and 60s, that's when you might want a Blu-ray copy of those releases from those years. Because most of the time when you get a DVD of those, it's it's mostly VHS rip quality anyways. That's where I could justify getting Blu-rays of, of movies and series if they're just older. Anything that's 90s and up, I normally just try to get a regular DVD of. The, the quality isn't that much better and it's not worth the extra almost eight to nine dollars that they want for the blu-ray version of it especially if it's like 4k and blu-ray like don't don't get me started on the 4k scam that is absolutely ridiculous the the, the quality isn't anywhere near even worth getting from from dvd to blu-ray okay there's a there's a quality jump there sure but from blu-ray to 4k i doubt the human eye is going to even be able to perceive the difference and if you can i feel like you're probably just trying to justify your your 40 or 50 dollar 4k disc not worth it in my opinion dvds from the 90s and up and and blu-rays from the 80s and down is, is the way i think i'm going to be sticking with it Anywho, that rant over. Super stoked to get the Ninja Turtles 2003 complete series. I already have a DVD of Ninja Turtles Forever, so I don't have to worry about that being a compressed disc on here. And apparently it's the cut version. So yeah, if you want the uncut version of Turtles Forever, you're still going to have to get that DVD, even if you don't care about the quality. So Yep, a little bit to consider. I will have a link to where you can purchase this in the description box below. Hopefully... I've answered as many questions as I can about this set. Yes, you can get it in Canada, but you have to order it from the Amazon.com site. So you'll probably have to make an entire new Amazon account if you just have one in Amazon.ca. But it's worth it. At least I think it is. My copy came to 99 Canadian dollars after taxes and duties and stuff like that. I think the shipping is a little bit ridiculous, especially how poorly they, they handle these. I think it was 17 US dollars for the shipping. Oof. A, a regular DVD size in comparison, just so you can see. It's quite a bit thicker than a regular DVD. I don't think 14 to 17 US dollars is the right price. They're really trying to squeeze it out of you. So yep, all the episodes and seasons from 2003 to 2009. Let me know if you're getting this. Let me know if you've even heard of this set being out. If you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles, if you are, you probably are watching this for that reason. Let me know who your favorite Ninja Turtle is. Let me know what your favorite Ninja Turtle series is. Was it the 85? Was it this? 2003 series did you enjoy the 2012 kind of 3d animated one and we're not mentioning rise of the ninja turtles i'm never watching that <laughs> but yeah cheers hope you enjoyed this review and until next time shay shay na shin and one on we should run we should hide we should kick their butts